Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back to my channel. This is Juni's Plan with me. In today's video, I'm going to set up August bullet journal for my husband, and the theme he chose was space, which is the topic I always wanted to try. I know the original plan for his journal is supposed to be minimalist style, but I just can't control myself and it ends up a little bit complicated. I hope you don't mind and maybe find some inspiration from it. Now let's get started. On the cover page, I want to draw an astronaut in the space which has the background all blackout. I can't imagine how I can do this with brush pen, so after the sketch, I decided to try it in digital way. I took a photo with my iPad and imported it into the app called Procreate. The app price is $9.99 and it comes with a lot of features. But for beginners, you don't have to go with this one and there are a lot of free drawing apps you can try. After drawing the moon and tracing the astronaut sketch, I invert the color and redraw the outline with more details using a white brush. I searched some astronaut uniform as reference and hopefully I didn't make too many mistakes. After the main part, I also draw some stars in the background and like always, I emphasize the outline at the end to make it pop more more. So this is my first time bringing digital drawing into bullet journal and I'm actually pretty happy with how it turns out. Except my printer somehow gave me this orange tone even though I set it as black and white. But it looks good for me, so I decided to keep it that way. After using corner cutter to make the corners round, I move on to the right side. The layout will still be vertical style, and I print out the days of the week on black paper so I save the time on coloring. But since this notebook's paper has a little bit yellow tone, I don't want to print the dates on pure white paper, so I decide to handwrite it. On the right edge, I'm going to draw a series of planets. Just let you know, this is not in the order of planet in the solar system. I guess I wasn't thinking too much while drawing, but you can consider the first one as Earth, since it also has a natural satellite. On the second one, I give it a line texture and draw the line slightly curvy to represent as a ball shape. The next is a small and simple one, so I decide to use dot shading technique. Then for the fourth one, I start to draw some random pattern just to explore different surface texture I can do with a liner pen. As for the biggest one on this page, I want to create this rough and uneven feeling on the surface with some volcanoes. Then for the next one, I also draw an asteroid belt to give it some variety which you can also find around Mars and Jupiter. The next planet is too small to draw some fancy texture, so I just simply give it a random pattern. Then for the bigger one, I decided to draw this clown look texture to represent the gas around it, which turns out a little bit ugly, but that's okay, it's worth a try. The last one, I'll leave the circle blank, but instead draw two oval shapes to represent satellites, if that makes sense. As you may notice, I pre-cut the edge around each planet to define the shape on the other side for pencil guide. So now let's cut it away. In order to emphasize the edge, on the next spread same spot, I decide to glue a piece of black paper. In the meanwhile, the black background from a cover page can also shown with the planets on the next page. I accidentally cut the black paper a little bit short, so I'm fixing the bottom with a black pen. Then, like the previous page, I cut the corners to make it round. Okay, the cover page and monthly view page are down. By the way, I also made the drawing from this spread to foam wallpapers, which you can find in my Patreon. On the next spread, before working on the trackers, let me draw this planet again really quick. On the top half of this spread, I'm going to use it as happy tracker. The font I chose here is this loose cursive style which looks clean and neat. My husband only wants to track 4 habits, so I use monthly stamp to make 4 calendars and fix the missing part with the liner pen. I want to draw the boxes around them in a casual way, but it doesn't turn out as good as expected. Well, I guess it looks okay on the camera. On the bottom half, instead of sleep log, he wants it to be eating hour tracker and weight log. 
So he's been doing intermittent fasting these days, and putting the 18 hours with weight chart together can show the result very clearly. On the bottom x-axis, I wrote date 1 to 31, and on the left side is his eating time. Ideally, it should be 3 p.m. to 8 p.m., but just in case there's some cheating days, so I put it between 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. As for the weight axis on the right side, I leave it blank for him to fill up later. Now let's move on to the next page, Brain Dump. When I first introduced Bullet Journal to my husband, I highly recommended him to have this page because for me, it's pretty much my second brain where I can move my thoughts and ideas here so I have more space in my brain to do other stuff. I have to admit that I kinda rely on it now as my memory storage, but I really like the feeling that I don't have to keep all those things in mind and worry about it all the time. Even if you're not a content creator, I believe this page could be really helpful for you in a different way. As for the drawing I put here, it is the astronaut Hamid, as you can see. Inspired by the artist Dashki, and I think it's just the perfect for brain down page. So I use O3 liner pen to draw the overall line work and then use O1 liner to work in the details and use tumble brush pen to black out the sky reflection on the hamlet and of course emphasize the outline. At the end, I use the watch yaw pen to highlight the stars in the sky. On the right side, I persuade my husband to give mood tracker a try. But he wants it to be really simple, so here I'm drawing 31 planets to represent 31 days. I use pencil to pre-draw three different size oval shapes ahead of time and use it as guide to evenly distribute the circles. Then write an August in the center as requested. I thought about using dash line to connect planets to show the orbit, but eventually I decided to use solid line to make it quick. It goes pretty well until the last one, my hand just slide down a little bit and can't follow the pencil mark for some reason. Um, it's okay, he wouldn't even notice, I hope. Since I'm going to use color and pattern to represent different moves, here I'm also drawing some details randomly to give it a variety because I know my husband won't do it by himself. To make it easy for him to use this mood tracker, I draw four circles as legend and use angle line pattern, patch style, volcano dots, and pure black to represent four different moods. We'll see how it turns out at the end of this month. So there won't be Instagram tracker and one lamp a day, now let's just jump into the weekly spray setup. As you can see, I pre-cut the edge on the right side, so in order to make it work on later pages, I'm adding this black paper on the left side ahead of time. Basically, it will turn out like the cover page and habit tracker if that makes sense to you. Then I cut away the extra part and do a round corner cut. There are 9 days in the first weekly spread, including the weekend from the previous week, so plus the note I'm adding at the end, I separate the space into 10 boxes. Each box is 7 by 17. On the right up corner, I also leave some space for the planet that I'm going to draw next. For this one, I decide now to use Circle Maker and hand draw an unperfect circle to show the bumping surface. Then add details inside like volcano and some scratching texture. I also draw a few clusters of dots here and there randomly. Then I cut the 7 blocks edges away. Before moving to the next spread, I also need to write down the week 32 where the planet can cover perfectly. Now we're good and let's go to the next weekly spread. For a regular setup, there are 7 days in a week plus note, so I have 8 boxes here and each one is 9 by 17. Um, what happened here is that I put my side camera on the table but forgot to press the record button. And my phone camera on the top focused on the side camera obviously, so yeah, I don't really have a good footage to show you this planet drawing process. Sorry about that, but I can show you the final look here. Same as the previous page, I cut away the red edge and write down week 33. Now this press is done. 
On the next page, similar layout except the planet is moved down to avoid overlay. Again, I didn't capture the footage from my set camera, but luckily my top camera at least focused on my drawing, so here we go. For this one, what I draw is Earth and Moon. After writing down the week 34, it's time to cut the edge away. Since this one is a little bit special, I decided to cut the part between the earth and the moon to match the cutting line. It looks pretty nice, but it has to be used carefully now. Then for the third week, same layout again and on the right bottom, I'm going to draw a planet with asteroid belt. I was a little bit tired by that time, so I pretty much just let it go and it's okay if it's not perfect oval or circle, just to be natural. And then I add some random pattern on it. Again, write down the wig 35 and cut the red edge away. Okay, we're almost done, just one more spread left. In the final wig of August, there's actually only one day, so under it, I'm using this space as summary. On the right page, I survey for a quote. I ask my husband if he wants any quote related to space or universe but had insisted to go with this one. You are what you do, not what you say you will do. He found it really encouraging, especially when he feels lazy and try to find excuses for not doing things that he should be doing. So yeah, I hope this could be helpful for you too. Now let's get back to all the weekly spread and do a final touch in the background. I use white gel pen to add some stars on both sides which turn out better than I expected. Before the final flip through, I want to give a special thanks to my new Patreon members, Redstone, Grace, and Brett. Thank you so much and I really appreciate your support and love. In my Patreon community, you can find digital spreads print out of all my Bujo setup, wallpapers with each month's theme, as well as other bonus contents. Link in the description for you to check out. So yeah, here is the space theme August bullet journal setup. I tried to bring digital drawing into it for the first time and I think it works pretty good. Please let me know what you think. Now I can't regret that why didn't I apply all these designs in my bullet journal. Well, I gotta say my husband is a lucky man. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Also don't forget to turn on the bell. You can leave comments below if you have any questions. I will see you very soon in my August Plan With Me video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing August.